Welcome to the Tailspire GM Tips Series. This video here is about build mode. So if you're not already in build mode, which you can tell up here, you can simply hit B to toggle it or click this little button. We will be toggling the to build mode where our UI will show up. Over here on the right hand side, we have our building assets. This allows us to see creatures and tiles. Ignore that middle one, it'll be gone. Um, so we can see on our list of tiles, we have all of these different categories. And our list of creatures, we have all of these different categories. It's very lovely. Uh, there's also your control for volumetric selection, which is how you do the volumetric tool, which you can then adjust. Um, toggling the grid allows us to actually see our building grid that we will be placing things with. And then a toggle build light. This just simply makes things a little brighter wherever we're actually looking in order to kind of build around shadows a lot more easily. There's also toggle clipping, which will allow you to clip building pieces into each other. So let's go ahead and get a few tiles down to start with. I'm going to go ahead and select one of my favorite sets, Tavern. Very, very warm, very welcoming. We go ahead and click our Tavern floor. We can just simply click and drag it out. And there we have a small grid of tiles. I'm going to go ahead and toggle the grid as I like seeing it personally. And uh, you can see also down here we have our little hot bar. This is a nice little place where we can go ahead and drag tiles that we want as quick references to build with. So I'm just going to go ahead and get a few pieces down here, which I can then use as a quick shortcut. As you can see, I did I was able to override a tile piece. That is very um, important. You can also just simply click and drag them away from the hotbar in order to get rid of them. So once you have enough to be satisfied, um, some of the other basic controls are if you hold shift, you can right click to delete a tile. If you hold shift, you can middle click to copy the tile. And if you hold shift, you can left click to pick up the tile. That will allow you your basic controls of how to go about that. Um, there's also the fact of verticality. Verticality is one of the nice new things with a new system. Uh, how I like to do it is one of the tricks you can do is you can double click to focus on whatever kind of layer you're, you're double clicking on. So this focuses on the ground layer. This happens to focus one tile level up. You'll see on the right hand side, we have our build plane diamond. I can click and drag this to align with my view plane. And now anything I build will be on this level. In addition, if your build plane, if you want to build a little more freely, you can turn off the grid and anything you build, you can simply hold shift and it will kind of nice and snap. Um, you can also just, as you can see, I'm just moving the mouse around. Um, I think it's shift and scroll wheel will move up and down the plane. And so you can just kind of build almost anywhere you want. But if you want those nice little level builds, it's good to double click your view, drag your build plane, and then toggle your grid afterward or beforehand. Ignore that, that's a little bug. Sorry that it's in this video. And now anything I build will be directly on. I just dragged the corner off. Good job, Uriah. There we go, that's how it goes. One of the other things I wanna call out in this build video is the idea of the volumetric selector, copy pasting, and slabs. Um, so if we see here, we can actually use the volumetric selection tool and select all of these tiles and hit Control C and we will copy them over. You can also go ahead and cut as well and it will actually move the tiles in question. As you can see, I got a little extra bit over there. One of the nice things is whenever you do this, it does actually come over as a string, a series of characters. So you can actually take a selection, copy it, and just paste it in Discord, or uh, paste bin, or in some cases, maybe even Tales Bazaar, which is a fan-made sharing site to share slabs. Uh, this is one of the neat effects of Tailspire and has enabled us to really share what we're building. That's it for the building tips. See you next time where we'll talk about dice.